Welcome to episode two of this back to vlog series where I take you through some of what I'm doing in my day to day life. Last time we went over some straight arm strength maintenance. Now we're going to do some lower body strength. So I'm inside today because I'm going to utilize the barbell and heavier weights. If you missed vlog number one, you can check the I button up above and I'll link that video there. What I'm going to be doing today is front squatting. This session will take about 30 minutes. I'm going to start with some simple warm ups in the squat. Then I'm gonna start using lower weight for what I'm front squatting, warming up with five reps, three reps, then resting about two to three minutes and then getting into the main work. The main work is gonna be a front squat, but it's going to be a paused variation. So I'm gonna be doing a five second eccentric, three second pause at the bottom, and then an explosion up for three reps. And I'm gonna be doing seven total sets of this resting three minutes between sets. So let's get right into today's working sets. I am using 100 kg for my working sets. That's about 225 pounds. If you're interested, my body weight is about 85 kg, uh, like 185 pounds about. I'm currently resting during my sets, and this reminds me of a paradox that I learned while I was studying in university. I cannot remember the exact name of the paradox, but it is about rest between strength sets. So I am not a fan of completely resting during strength sets. So what I mean is sitting down, lying down, this sort of thing. I am a fan of some very light work, like walking around, uh, hanging, maybe resting, squatting. Uh, depending on what you're doing. This active rest, as long as it's not uh, taxing on the body, is actually better for you in recovery between sets than it would be sitting or lying down. Now the theory is the, the blood is moving while you're doing some light activity like some pacing back and forth or some uh, passive or active hanging or some resting squatting, something like this. So it can actually improve performance if you do a little bit of activity. Now there is such thing as too much. That's why you won't see me sitting down, laying down in between strength sets because of this paradox. Now, I couldn't find the name of the paradox. If you know the name of the paradox, please let me know in the comments down below. If I find it, I will definitely put uh, the specific name in the comment section. When I am doing any type of work, not just squatting, I'm looking for quality and consistency across the board, across the entire session, across the whole practice. So as an example here, I'm using 100 kg and I'm using this throughout the entire session. I'm using the same exact tempo, I'm keeping the same exact quality, the same exact reps for all of sets. A sign of a well-planned session is where the first set and the last set look almost identical. If the quality has decreased over the board, then you have a poorly planned session there. Or let's say the first set, you can get three reps at 100 kg, and then by the, the last set that you're doing, you're getting one rep at 100 kg, or you're not able to do 100 kg anymore, then you've either started with a too high of an intensity, too high of a complexity, or, or something in between there. And the next session, it would be smarter to decrease the weight, change the tempo maybe, increase the rest, make it easier on yourself so you can keep it consistent. All right, I have 10 seconds left, so I need to, to do work, all right. All right, that's seven sets done. Front squat went great. Uh, some things that I've been thinking about with the front squat, um, I think everyone knows I keep a very detailed journal and I write notes and everything that I'm doing. And one of the things that I've been writing for the front squat in particular is number one, elbows up, number two, torso up, and number three, stay balanced over both feet. So by this, I mean, uh, don't allow the weight to become uh, come on the outsides or the insides. Don't allow the weight to shift. Try to keep the weight centered right in the middle of both feet and don't let them come over and out. Now, sometimes I can feel that those things are happening, but 
most of the time I'm able to keep that weight very centered. So that's something I've been working on in particular. There's a lot of other things I have to work on, but I think those are the three biggest uh, in, in the weighted squat. Do you guys use weights for your lower body or do you only do unweighted body weight things because gyms aren't open where you are? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you're working on with the lower body strength. Again, if you like these videos, please let me know and I'm happy to do more. We are finished for today, so that's the session.